But yeah, I, was, I don't think uh, what we're going to do. Well, it is it is a uh, kind of realm versus realm, but it's not like the end game realm versus realm. No. Uh, so so this is we'll be getting into kind of a battleground which is, which is uh, for low level players. Yes. And you still because have they, they changed that after a while, well. right? Because in the beginning of the game, yeah, it did. was for everyone, and people were getting owned by high levels, so they changed it to these battlegrounds for lower levels. Yeah, go on. What you are you exactly. saying? Exactly. And then we have the we have them the end game realm versus realm where you are fighting for relics which is stored at uh, at the keeps for each uh, each faction has some keeps with as relics in, in them. Uh, okay, let's just stand up in a moment. Oh, complete quest yes, I'm ready. Oh, I I'll just see you in the background, Ozzy. It's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna show off uh, real quick the trainer. So people can see yeah, that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome looking tree dude here. My game is slowing down a bit, I don't know no idea why that is, but I apologize. Uh Drew Trainer right there. So as you can see here you have three types. Um Realm abilities. This is how to do with your realm, with how many points you got for your realm, blah blah blah. But these are the specializations that you have. So nature and regrowth, nature and affinity. And every time you click, you have to pay that price in points. So if I want to want nature from two to three, I have to pay three points, as you see. See, three points needed. And if I go to four, I have to pay seven points because I go three plus four, and it's it's a really weird system but that's the way it works so I'll just go to the Greek growth because I want to heal you uh, I can only spend one point in there and then I'll go into some no in that nature and then train there we go and then see if we got any new spells doesn't look like it No, it doesn't look like it. But oh well, I'm gonna come to you now. Okay, excellent. But yeah, the PvP, the realm was realm, all that is one of the major thing in the game. So you can actually—it's one of the ways to advance your character when you're at max level. You can get some kind of special uh, realm versus realm uh, abilities. Was it? Um, yeah, you get uh, stuff for your realm, so you get buffs for your realm. Uh, when you take keeps and stuff like that. Um, when people talk about the old Dark Age of Camelot, they talk a lot about realm pride. Because there was a lot of pride in being a part of your realm, working together and getting those buffs for your group. So you could do stuff in the world. And that's a really cool system, actually. Yeah. So there are dailies here. And the work. fact that you had not dailies. The, the, actually, the fact that you had these three three factions here fighting against each other, mm -hmm. that kind of meant that that the game would more or less balance itself out. I mean, if if one faction were way too powerful, the other two would just team up against it. Yes. Which seemed like a very good system. Okay, there's just some players here. Is up but yeah, this is just kind of a, a, a semi-boring battleground. Um, you have a combination of PvP and PvE going on in here. Back in the keep, there are some NPCs that are willing to give, uh, that are giving out some quests where you just have to go and kill some stuff. And when you kill, uh, well, you kill like some uh, some creatures out here in the world. And when you kill those and complete the quest, you can go back and you can get some tokens, which you, as far as I understand, can use to buy siege weapons, which you will then use to to capture. The enemy keeps in here. Yeah. And you like have to have to protect those siege weapons and all that stuff, so. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but there isn't a lot of player around here, and I don't think that without fancy. having the siege weapons, you probably can't capture the keeps, so it's all about farming those quests, buying the siege weapons, and then uh, and then taking the, the castles. Yeah. 
But again, this is only a battleground and not actually the huge realm versus realm fight for which this game is known. Midgard. Because in there you had huge keeps, you had lesser, uh, you had lesser forts or something, and you had towers that could be taken and all that stuff. Yeah, Midgard, Hibernia, and Albion are the three realms. Albion. That's not. That's the last one we didn't mention. Yes, indeed. Um. Yeah. But. Uh, um. But besides from but besides from uh, this entire realm versus realm thing, uh, you can also choose to uh, to advance your characters in other ways. They had like these things that were called uh, master levels, um, which was just uh, I think it was just insanely difficult uh, kind of extra levels you could get uh, in the end. Not like uh, not like you could level above fifty. But it was a way to advance your character and get some uh, some special abilities or something for it. Uh, but they were insanely hard to get and would require both some very hard solo content and, and large group content to complete. Yeah. Uh, so it, it could take days or weeks for, for each each master level. So the reason why this game died pretty much is because... Uh, well, one... The... World of Warcraft came along, that sucked a lot of players away from EverQuest and Dungeon Dragons. Uh, or Dungeon Dungeon Dragons, sorry, Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, but also, there's a certain expansion that came along the way where things changed a lot, and a lot of players were not happy about that. Uh, I can't give you the specifics at the moment, but uh, that doesn't really matter. It was really. Atlantis tri Trials of Atlantis or something. Yeah. Let's go to the Blue Keep, or... Yeah, definitely. Let's just go and have a look. We'll probably La get killed like we did yesterday, but whatever. Last time he died horribly, uh, one shot by one of the mage, mage dudes that was standing on top of the keep. But then again, if that happens again, that's probably the easier way out of here for us anyways. Yeah, might I be able to show off the death mechanic? Which isn't really a mechanic, you press release and you release somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But it seems, uh, as you said, we were saying before, it seems like this game kind of suffered the same fate as as both Ultima Online and EverQuest, that the developers released some bad expansions that that just wasn't keeping up with what people were expecting, or made some changes that that people didn't like, or just generally were too slow at keeping the the game updated and fresh. So, yeah, I mean, they they came with an expansion after the tri Trials of Atlantis, which was. Uh, Actually, very good. I think they remade a lot of the realm was realm was realm uh, zones and stuff like that. But it was just too little, too late, and at that point, the game was already uh, dying. So, and as far as I'm aware, the game isn't really being developed on right now. It's kind of just in in maintenance mode. So it's the game. Got, uh, the it's last expansion lives. was released in like 2007 or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, I think I just I think. No, no, he's... <laughs> <laughs> and I die. I'm gonna res you. Uh, Are you sure you're not getting killed yourself in a second? No. Hmm, okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, definitely, I'll accept that. Oh god, I have to rebuff you? But yeah, that, that was one of the ranged guys on top of the... Uh, on top of the towers that killed me. And they're just... I don't even know, this, this area is supposed to be for all level range, more or less. But these guys are just tearing us apart, so I don't know how many people you need to actually take a keep. Yeah, that seems odd, but, um... Yeah. I think the biggest problem with games um, like these were, they didn't have a lot of subscribers to begin with, and... The games, uh, Dark EverQuest and these, they make, made such a bad choice at some point that... That changed the whole game, so people just couldn't be bothered with it anymore. The reason why WoW is still standing, they, I mean, they made some bad decisions as well, but they kept the main game good, which is probably the reason why that game is still so popular. Because it's, it just still works. And um, OC, question. Should we just commit suicide here and then uh, return to get out of this place? Because there's not actually a lot to show off besides from this, I mean. No. Charge! For whatever we are, her Oh god, he's, John, he's casting! He's casting! Oh, oh, in the face! Double shot. Release house. Re no, release <laughs> city. Release. What do we want? 
I'm guessing release house. What does that actually do? Is that uh um... You don't have a house. We don't have a house, so No, exactly. So yeah, there is player houses in the game and confirmed. Each I think you I think you can have each character can have up to 3 houses, which is you can allow <coughs> other players to get into your house. You can actually allow other characters on your account to get into this house as well. <coughs> And there are some special NPCs and stuff that will only be available in player housing that I use to also do some advancement when you're at max level. I'll do a release, slash release. Um, yeah, so pretty standard. Um, <clears throat> you can also get married in this game. I mean, at least I saw a, ma a marriage voucher or something you could buy. I'm not sure if it's <coughs> actually something in game or if it's just a vanity item, but um, not sure. We should definitely have tried that, OC. Yeah. Um, we would be a happy couple. Yes. Oh, Macmel. There we go. Uh, yeah, I am at uh, Macmel. But uh, it's hard to PvP is hard because there's nobody online. I think most of players are also. Uh, they might be American, so I'm not sure they're awake. Probably and and they may be max level and do something completely different. Yeah. I mean, or doing the the real realms realm because we're seeing we have like this constant quest in our quest log that are telling us what what the realm is up to and what our realm is up to next in the realm versus realm, uh, what the next objective is, and and that is updating sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I will just see if I can find my trainer as well. Oh, that was the wrong house. Yeah, he's Is in there. Yeah, yeah, there. But yeah, this game... Uh, I'm kind of sad that WoW didn't take a bit more from this game when it comes to PvP. Uh, but... Because it, it does, does a lot of cool st stuff in this game. Um, but... It just doesn't really hold up anymore with the quality. I mean, it still looks decent. It plays alright, and you can try it if you want to. But it's when you're used to a fluid game with high quality and and fluid gameplay, then this is really hard to get into. Uh, just like EverQuest, I, just I will, like I will online. add though that out of the out of the three games that we have tried so far, this is the game I'd recommend the most. Yes. But it's probably it'll probably continue be, to be like that because every game has just learned from its predecessor. So, but it's a different audience. Oh, I'm following the wrong cow. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's a different people that it's catered to as well because EverQuest. The people that love EverQuest are the people that loved what it was in the beginning. It was just a sandbox game where you could do whatever you want. You could hate anyone you want or become friends with any faction you want and it was totally your option whereas this is much more streamlined like you have to choose a realm and you have to represent that realm and you're being forced into that situation but it brings for some much more cool experiences when it comes to RVR and stuff like that and it builds a community that way whereas EverQuest is a lot more free if you know what I mean so yeah 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 you're very, you're very right uh, indeed um, but at least this feels somewhat better to uh, Ooh. to play. So. We killed something that we needed. Yes, exactly. And this huge frog as well, I think. <laughs> wow, man, that attack looks hard. So that's the main city over there. Ooh, grass. Uh, one thing that I actually haven't... Oh, yeah, level 15, awesome. But one thing that I actually really haven't found any info about is how, how big the world is. I mean, I know that in the second expansion, I think they kind of like doubled the territory of the world, but I actually don't know how big it is or how different it looks. Because so far, all the territories we've, we have been in have been very similar looking. Yeah, they are. But so every territory or every realm. Oh, here, Hibernia. Lol. I didn't, I've never seen this before on a map. Uh, every territory has its own map. Like, we are on Hibernia right now, and the people Midgard are on Midgard, etc. And they, that's their own map, PvE-wise and stuff like that. I'm not even sure if they can go to each other's island, honestly. Uh, 
Uh, very good question. Because and even if you can, the, there isn't actually PvP going on. No, the caves and in the world, the the PV stuff is all just based on your realm. The only thing that is that you meet the other people is the PvP, and there are certain instances that are also for everyone. I read that they added later on in the game. Uh, that actually depends on who is controlling the keep. Sort of like winter grasp. Yes. Very true. So this is pretty big. We are all the way... Where the hell are we? There we are. Huh. It's pretty big, actually. Hmm. Yeah, you can actually... Oh yeah, you can browse through. But it all... It looks like it's it's the same... Click on Hibernia on the top. General... Ah, oh, yeah, I see. Well, that, that seems like the, the country is, is looking very similar. Oh my god, that looks like an island from WoW. WoW copy. Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Funny. So there's, there's a ton of places to explore, but the Airy Zone has its, has its own difficulty, more or less. And Let's see if that elite do this to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can try that. Okay. That's cool. Right, there's really not much to show off anywhere because last time. the gameplay looks pretty linear. It's not like exciting or anything. And the beef beep doesn't really work right now, as you saw, because there's nobody here. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna heal you. He's only Hold very on. red. At wait, least. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna just Remember? buff you up. I'm cool. So oh, yeah, all the buffs. I'll just uh, wait yeah. 10 minutes. Hang out here for the next two minutes. Make some coffee. Chill. Yeah, 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 something like that. Give your mother a call or something. <laughs> so this is like an epic encounter. Uh, it's it's a special quest that apparently is very very difficult. It probably I think it's it's group quest more than likely. Uh, you'll definitely have more luck if you're in a group. But we tried a bit yesterday with uh, we were three people and we failed horribly. Yes. Are you, uh, are you ready, Isaac? Hold on. How are we looking? Buffing my pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going anywhere, it's cool. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'll just... I can let my bear attack. No, he can't. He can't attack from this distance? What? <laughs> oh, here he goes. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Why, why are those two coming after me? Uh-oh. I was kind of like hoping to be able to take a couple of these... Uh, my pet just got one first. shot. To attack all okay, the... Okay, that's not a... We can easily kill all these. Yeah, we can. Yeah, these these guys are just blue. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, it's only that the... Again, like in the other games we've been playing, the netcode isn't very good, so these mobs are just jumping around on my screen. Yeah. Okay, I think we're getting them. But then again, they are only blue mobs. We've failed at this, that would be kind of bad. Yeah. Oh, I slowed one of them. I wonder if that guy over there is interested in joining us. Uh, I can just try and invite him to the group. Yeah, I do so. He's in the same guild as us. <laughs> I'm we're really starting to doubt our whole guild theory. Yeah, we're missing something. There we are. Okay, and also... Nah, let's just... Is he didn't want to invite us? Apparently not. So I'll summon my dude again, one second. Uh, well, the mobs just respawned down there. Oh, that was okay. kind of a... Oh, God. Just go in, I'll heal well, you. Well, at least, I, I mean, I... <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's... Well, then this dude is just coming for me again. As the only one, it seems. No, definitely not the only one. Okay. Let's move backwards. I just... Move backwards. Well, the rest of them don't... What? I've rooted one of them. Ah, I see. Very nice, very nice. Or oh, I tried to. Well, let's see. I hope they don't respawn again. If they don't, we should actually have a shot at this. Yeah. Come on. I'm doing so little damage. But it's probably because I'm only using this one-hand blade. Hmm. 
Where like, oh. Okay, no, they spawn instantly. That's just. I ready to just go for it? Yeah. Well, sorry. You don't have much choice now. <laughs> yeah, a guy hits like a truck. I can't hear you. I'm being interrupted. Yeah, well, that's just. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we're probably getting to the point where there isn't that much new to show off now. Why did those guards not help? They're just standing there like a fucking... D dickless... <laughs> whatever they are. Ah, oh, they despawned at least. So... Oh, did you die? Oh, are you no, still I survived right here. Oh, nice. Should we see if we can like uh, have a duel somewhere? Yes, I know we can have a duel. We couldn't do it in the city, so... Probably outside the city. Where's my dude? You don't need him, Mosey. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so, but... So, Mosey, your all uh, impression of this game? Um... For when it came out, I think amazing what they tried to do, the uniqueness, the style, everything, the PvP. It's very, very good, uh, but it doesn't hold up to today's standards, really. I mean, obviously, nobody's really playing it, except for a few hardcore fans, and, and it just it's not appealing to anyone, I think, this game, uh, that hasn't played this when it came out before it failed. So, yeah. But it's it's definitely an interesting look, and it does a lot of things right. And I think a lot of MMOs can learn from this game. Uh, well, you can see that Guild Wars 2 is taking a lot of from this and trying to improve on it. Uh, so hopefully they'll do it right. And as as it seems, it it, it does. But yeah, uh, it is very interesting. I didn't even know really know this game existed before we made our list of what games we were gonna play. So it has been very interesting, very cool. Yeah, exactly. And again, as you said, it, they do a lot of things right. I mean, they have some great... Uh, the Realm vs. Realm thing is a great idea, and, and you have this... Uh, so this is a, a very good way to build community. Because the, the Realm vs. Realm is so important and so integrated into the entire endgame. And you really need to... You really need to play to, to play well together uh, on your realm to to succeed in that, so... I'm glad to see that, uh, yeah, the Guild Wars 2 is doing it now, because I'm actually kind of... Surprised that nobody has done that before. Yeah. Uh, okay, so apparently I have to write slash accept. Slash dual accept. I think. Slash dual spacebar accept. Oh, slash dual accept. Yeah, okay. I, I see, I see. Are we Are we on? We are on, definitely. The only thing is if I can remember my spells, I have to like, the way my combat... Uh, you can't attack member of your realm. Wait, what? Huh? Uh, this is odd. Slash. So we have to. Uh, also, perhaps we got too close to the city again. Perhaps we can't like fight in the city area. Yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, shit! Now my spells on cooldown. Right. God damn it! Wait twenty six seconds, please. <laughs> least... Okay, okay. You'll get a fair fight. You'll get a fair fight. It's cool. We should be more than far enough away now. Camera is weird. Yeah, the well, uh, the way my uh, abilities work is that I have to use one ability and then that opens up for another ability. So I have to like chain him, and it's actually surprisingly difficult to remember which abilities to to chain and how. Mostly because many of them have exactly the same icon. So why does it not work? I'm, Are you ready? I'm trying to do a challenge, but it doesn't do anything. Do a challenge or sorry to a duel. Duel. You should just yeah accept them. Slash dual accept. Okay, yeah, definitely. Let's go. So I'm just afraid that your. How much HP does your bear actually have? I wonder if it's. We're not attacking again. Oh, there. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Was your pet an aggressive or something? No, no, no. I just tried to tap you, but it didn't work. 
So is this just really bugged or are we doing it wrong? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I wish I would do some more damage. Let's just go move out of here for a little bit more. Yeah, we can just move down the road a bit, I suppose. Yeah. My pet is dead. God damn it. Okay, so duel now, right? Yeah? One second. You, you can do without the pet. <sighs> sure. <laughs> sure. We can have the battle over here with all these uh, Patcha Cups. Doesn't seem too scary. Slash dual challenge. Yes, okay. One second. How are we looking? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you have to rebuff it entirely? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Literally, no. You can't attack, I remember. I don't. I have no idea what's going <laughs> on here. Weird. Uh, Do we have to put on yeah. a PvP mode or something like that? Wouldn't make any sense, would it? I mean, we can we, we have the option to duel, and the duel just ends for whatever reason, immediately. Okay, let's try again. Duel challenge doesn't work. Try typing it to me. Works and works for me. Duel accept. He hit me once, and then then that's it. You can't attack member of your realm. Is it like this is the worst duel in the world? Well, whoever hits the other one first wins. <laughs> All right. Should we just postpone our duel to next week then? Hold on. Hold on. Slash duel. So do it again, and then don't attack yet. Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm the one that should start attacking. You resist the effect. Can I attack you now, or do you want to like keep going? You can't attack a member of your realm. I don't even. Yeah. Okay. Screw this. Never mind. Sad. We should probably have researched how dueling work in this game first. You probably just cannot duel <laughs> uh, people from your own thingy. That's weird. But why would the why would it even be there then? I don't know. Oh well. We can just sit here on the beach watching the stars instead. Yeah. Go all peace mode. Yeah. Well then we'll reserve our epic duel for next week. Yeah. Ah, it's too bad. So it's too bad. Yeah it is. I thought it was such a good tradition we're going. Yeah. So um I guess But uh, yeah next week we'll be looking at uh, City of Heroes, so I hope there's dueling in that game. Yeah indeed. And that I pick the more powerful uh, superhero. It's a leap forward. That game came out in two thousand four. Right? A few yeah. a few yes, it months, did. like half a year before World of Warcraft came out. Yep. So this should be interesting. So very much, and it will be. It should be very different from what we've been playing so far. We've been playing these uh, middle age, ish uh, MMOs. And City, of Zero, City of Heroes should really be something entirely different. Yeah. So yeah. I will sit down here. How do you sit in this game? Huh. Just slash sit. Yeah, that seems to work alright for me. I don't like the way I'm sitting though, it seems kind of 
You're not sitting, you're right. Unpleasant, but Yeah, exactly. Looks like I'm about to jump up and scare somebody. Oh the, now you could uh yeah, whatever. Let's let's call the duel and uh, just say uh, thank you for watching everybody. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. We uh see you next time. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, little presentation and uh yeah, see you next time for some City of Heroes.